First, hundreds gather to honor a fallen Marine. The body of private first class Kyle Kutu has returned to Rhode Island. The 20 year old was killed in combat in Afghanistan last week. Family and friends will say goodbye for the final time during a wake tomorrow and a funeral mass on Friday. Iowa News reporter Catherine Sotnik joins us now live from Pawtucket with tonight's top local story. Mike, that wake to take place here tomorrow at the Trip Funeral Home here in Pawtucket. Private First Class Kyle Kutu's body was brought here earlier today, and hundreds came out to honor him. Even the downpouring rain couldn't keep hundreds of people from lining Newport Ave in Pawtucket Wednesday. There to pay tribute to Private First Class Kyle Joe Kutu, killed in combat in Afghanistan last week. There were school children holding flags, yellow ribbons tied along the street. And the Patriot Guard escorting the fallen Marine's body every step of the way. The Patriot Guard there, they say, to support his family. What can you make of it? You to just be there for them when they come home, be there for the families and show them your care. Earlier Wednesday, tearful family members gathered on the tarmac at TF Green to receive Kutu's body, which was flown in from Delaware. Kutu was killed just days after his 20th birthday. He graduated from Tolman High School last year, where he was a captain of the football and wrestling teams. Friends say Kutu held them all together. Whatever we went through, we could always depend on him and... It's just a shame. Kutu will now be laid to rest on Friday and buried with full military honors in the Veteran Cemetery in Exeter. It's a loss that friends say won't soon be forgotten. It's been hard. It's even harder to know, you know about his family and his mom and all of his friends that love him. And calling hours are set from 3 o'clock to 8 p.m. tomorrow at the, again, trip, trip Funeral Home on Newport Ave in Pawtucket. The funeral will be 11 o'clock Friday at St. Teresa's Church. That is also on Newport Ave. And again, he will be buried with full military honors at the Veteran Cemetery following that funeral in Exeter. Reporting live tonight with the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom from Pawtucket, I'm Catherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.